I've spoken before about the TPMS system that's on the Tesla Model S, specifically the system that's on the 2012 to 2015 ish Model S, the original system, not the Continental one, but the one that's known as Baolong or or bow long. I'm not sure how you say it. But anyway, it's the TPMS system that the 2012s, the 20 something or other Model S's were originally equipped with. Now, many of those cars were upgraded later on to the Continental system because of some shenanigans that Tesla did with the software as well as maybe some reliability problems in their manufacturing. But for those cars that still have the original system, like mine, one of the major drawbacks has been that we can't see the individual PSI for each tire something that the Continental people, or the people with the Continental system, are able to do. They're able to see it in their main instrument cluster. Now this is of course just the, the home screen while the car is charging, but for the cars that have the Continental system, they'll get a display sort of like this that shows the PSI of each tires. For the Baolong system, or however you say it, we don't get any of that. We just get an error when the tire pressure is too low or too high or the system's not working. So of course it's always been assumed that one of the limitations of that early system was that it was simply not capable of providing the PSI readings to the car, only when they were wrong. And that turns out not to be the case, interestingly, now that we have access to the service mode. In case you're unfamiliar with service mode, you're going to go to software and then you're going to go up to where your model is and you're going to hold that down for about 10 seconds. It seems like a really long time and then it'll give you sort of a flash and then it'll give you the prompt for service mode. So you simply type in service and hit enter and it'll yell at you about the things you're about to do. You just hit enable. It takes a second sometimes. All right, so there we go. There's the service menu. Now there's all sorts of things in here that can frighten you with various alerts that you don't need to worry about because of various things. But you're going to go to chassis. Chassis is the one we want. And when we hit that, there is a tires and alignment option. And we hit that. And remember, I have the original system and there are my individual PSI numbers. I got a 38 and a 39 and a 40. And oh my gosh, the cold weather that we've just started getting is apparently taking its toll. And then this, uh, in case you're wondering what that is, that, that just goes with the steering wheel. So um, the steering wheel's locked because I'm on the wrong side. Oh, I should also show you, there's your service mode, scary gram on the driver's display. But there's the individual PSIs for the tires, right there using the original sensors. Since I mentioned it and we're here, this is the screen you're gonna be probably most interested in. These are the customer visible alerts. You see there's nothing wrong, there's no actual alerts showing but it says there's three to check. So if we go to service, here's the three to check. Now, as I understand it, most of the time when you see these alerts, if they're not an, an alert that's on the customer menu, you don't need to worry about it. So for example, sometimes things show up here that um, the car isn't even equipped with. Like in this case, the active arrow. I, I don't have active arrow on my car. So of course, <laughs> nobody does actually. So uh, there is no active arrow hardware to be broken, but the software is written in such a way that uh, it, it tells you that it's not there by telling you that it's broken. And then uh, I'm not really sure what these other two are, but they're probably just some something that comes up randomly because of stuff turning on and off in a weird order. That's my general experience because I know my shutters actually work. For example, I checked them last time I supercharged. They were fine. Okay, so to get out of service mode, we're simply going to go where it says exit service mode. Give that, you have to hold it, and it will disappear. No problem, I'm not gonna show you the screen because <laughs> it shows where, where I live. Anyway, there you go. So as, as you can see, uh, going into service mode only takes a couple taps. It's really not that big a deal. It's probably a lot easier than walking around the car and unscrewing the caps and checking the tire pressure and screwing the cap back on and all of that. Although in this particular scenario, all four of my tires, because of the recently cold weather, are running a little, a little bit low, so I, I still have to walk around and, and do all of that. But uh, it, it's not as convenient as the Continental system that'll give you the, the display all the time. But if you have the older Model S uh, TPMS system, you can kind of, in a couple taps, get a glance of where your tire pressures are at, which is really convenient and I think is an interesting tidbit that that data is there and the car does know it, but for whatever reason, Tesla decided not to share that with us, which makes me kind of 
go back to some of my usual questions of Tesla of like, okay, you have the capability of providing this data. Why can't we get it in our system? Why, why can't all Model S have the TPMS uh, PSI display in the driver dash? You could just take that display and put it in the dash and I don't need a, con a continental system upgrade. You could just give me the data you've already got. And I, I just don't understand why we can't why can't that be displayed? Why did they hold that back? Did they hold it back for the purpose of charging the $1,200 or $1,400 that they were charging back in the day for the uh, upgrade to the TPMS system? You know, it, it kind of makes you wonder if these very cheap, very old sensors can do that. And, and I'm running generic sensors at this point. These aren't even Tesla sensors. These were like, I don't know, I think they're $40 each. They're really cheap. Uh, but those sensors, the computer is well aware of what the PSI is. It just doesn't display it. Why? We want it. Give it to us. That'd be a great software update for those very early cars that are very out of warranty. Anyway, I hope you found that at least somewhat interesting. And if you think I rambled on too long, I would again remind you, I'm doing this for free. So, sorry.